Brought to you by the community of certified B Corporations. So I want to know, when's the last time you thought, what's the point of all of this? I'm Kirby Myers, and it's been a couple of years that I thought it, but it got me to this stage, so thanks for letting me share. So a few years ago, I was the chair of an international professional association, and it was a volunteer gig, but a lot of responsibility. A lot of travel, a lot of meetings, a lot of time in the air, a lot of time to think. And at one point, I was on a flight going from somewhere to somewhere else, and I was thinking about what it was all about. What, what was the point of all this? I had a day gig, paid a lot of stuff, and it worked well, but it was with the traditional financial industry. Now, if you know anything about traditional financial industry, there's a lot of money in it. More specifically, a lot of money chasing money. And I could retire after a number amount of years and be happy. But here's the problem. I'd be retiring with a big old chasm in my soul. Because I had a lot of good clients, good people. People I'd you know, meet for beer, coffee, and they call me up. They go, Kirby, I got to get out of this. This is chewing me up. So the problem is, I like my soul. And I got some responsibilities. I got to feed some mouths. I got to buy a house. I got to do some stuff like that. So when I landed, I said, well, what can I do? What can I do to, to, to do these things, get those things done, and also get those things done, and also feed the soul? So what I landed on was two things. One was responsible investing. Now, that's a part of the financial industry where they look at environmental, social, governance factors as they decide where to invest. The other side was B Corps and benefit corporations. Now, you guys, I don't have to tell about B Corps because you're all part of one. But benefit corporations are cool. What, what you need to know what's cool about those is they're legal entities and they bake the purpose into the corporate DNA, the purpose of the company. Now, that's awesome because all of a sudden, I'm right there. I'm at this nexus of profit and purpose. So what's cool is there's a lot of overlap. As I've done a lot more research, I've found a lot of overlap between those fields, and it's great. But I've also learned some things about the business world that I thought I'd share. So there are good companies and some bad companies. Some bad companies, do we want to try and help to get them to change? Sure, that's a good thing. Good companies, when we find them, do we need to support them? Absolutely. I've also found that there are sayers and there are doers. There are a lot of companies out there that say this, say that, la, 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 la. But what we want to find, like ourselves, are the doers, the people who are really doing things to change things, because that's important. Because a lot of this, another thing I've found, comes down to risk. There's a risk that you could ruin the country, ruin the globe, ruin your community, and lose good employees who care about these things. And another thing I found is that a lot of people get this. When you start to explain it to them, they don't get it right away, but they start to say, yeah, yeah, I get that. That's cool, and I'm with that. So now you guys, again, I don't need to explain some of this because you're B Corps. Oh, but I forgot about the naysayers. Naysayers will be out there to chew you up because they don't they agree. But that's okay because they help us refine our argument, refine our conviction, and help us understand why we're doing this. What is the purpose here? So as B Corps, you've got a lot of purpose behind the companies that you're with, and that's awesome. So there are some other things, though, that you can do when you've got your own airplane moment, and you're staring at that trade table and going, what is the point? A few things. So one, help the company by executing, making sure these things we do to be sustainable are sustainable. The responsible things we can keep moving forward with, budget, execution, etc. Number two, embrace accountability. Because the whole thing about saying what we're doing differently from just generating profit, what we're doing, how we're getting there, and if we miss it, it's okay to talk about, well, okay, this is why we missed it. How are we gonna get there? Because that genuine uh, uh, transparency is awesome. Number three, this is a journey, and there's ups and downs and some things that make you wanna scream, but there's that purpose at the end, and that's awesome. And the last, number four, is this all drives an awesome story, which we've heard some places today, because the purpose talks about why the company exists, 
why it's doing what it's doing, not just we make widgets, we offer services. So those are things. I hope you've picked up a thing or two or gleaned a couple of things because the path ahead, no matter who's steering it, is awesome. And I'm pleased to be aside you. My name's Kirby Myers.